Okay, so Wednesday, February 8. I started sanding. There's a little blemish right there I should have filled in, but maybe the rub rail will be in that area. I kind of hope. It ain't perfect, that's for sure. And I have got a little white staining and stuff on the deck I gotta get rid of at some point. But I do have lights. So that's an improvement, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I don't have any light leakage around the uh, the roofs. I was kind of worried about that. So, we're getting close to having going into back into the wood with the top rail and now you can see the sanding there but hopefully I can get it all even I haven't finished I just sanded for a little bit today I got a hole I got to poke that There's a hole right there So, I have, I have some uh, crew members that I have never assembled that were for the big uh, Ben A and the big steamer that I built, which is 132nd scale too. So, I'm going to use one of those in here. That'll be the end of this pilot house, finally. <laughs> Took forever. These have to be glued down and this is this is a little odd here. There's supposed to be a crossbar underneath this. Uh but that band is in the way, and I discovered after some looking at the plans that uh, they didn't use a band there. They used two eye bolts, one on front and one on back, but uh, I don't really mind. It's going to be that way. So that's it for today. It's warm here today, 40 degrees. So, and uh, the light is different. I can feel spring in the air. Okay, so it's Monday, February 13th. And I've sanded this thing and did a little bit of, you know, rough rubbing compound. Um, I think I'm going to call a halt to working on the hull. I mean, I'm just going to accept it as it is. Uh, it's not my best work and I think one of the reasons for that is I used uh, 
brush on paint, which I did be primarily because it's winter. In the summer, I have the ability of setting up a, a work surface outside where I can use spray cans and putty and stuff like that. And I can get, uh, you know, a good coat on more than once a day. Uh, and here with letting this brush on oil paint dry, it's 24 hours before you can do anything. So I don't know, maybe I just got impatient, tired of waiting. Uh, but it's all right, you know, it's, it's a work boat. It's not a yacht. I did a little bit, kind of tuned up this cradle. Uh, it wasn't really set up properly. You couldn't get the water line to, to reliably sit parallel to the tabletop. So I changed that, put a couple of paints, coats of paint on that, make it look a little bit better. And I've been working on this thing. I uh, deviated from the plans slightly. The plans show there's no overhang, which to me seems really curious or uh, not advisable. So I made this little overhang. Uh, I was thinking of putting the same kind of roofing material that I have here on this, but apparently uh, the thing was just painted on the boat with no, uh, no roofing material. So this is just going to get paint. I got to put a couple of cross pieces into each door. The doors were, uh, each door was three panels. Uh, so that's that. And I guess I, I will do, I'll do this a little, there's a little, uh, there's a, a hatch there. Uh, the galley smokestack is here. I'm really getting close to uh, putting the top rails on. I think maybe that's what I'll, I'll start up with next, the top rails. The top rails, and once the top rails are on, you cut uh, for each of the uh, irons that anchors the standing rigging. You just cut the top rail extension or the overhang of the top rail and put in the, the irons. And once the irons are in, this the base of the of the rub strip can go in. It's obviously got to be cut around the irons, but the rub strip on top of the base goes right over the irons. So that's it. Once uh, once that's done, it's into the rigging, and that's it for today.